What's up everybody? Anthony from Granddaddy Herbs and today we're going to cut the last clutch of the season, clutch number four. Um, didn't have a lot of clutches this year, had a bunch of females that just didn't go, that were bred, locked, the whole nine, even built follicles, just follicles that just didn't go. So um, this was a mystic pastel to a pastel. Um, so we'll get into it. Got a lot of small eggs, like this egg is about the size of a chicken egg. Um, I'm not going to start off with that one and this one too, this is a small egg. But these guys are dimpled a lot, you know, I'm surprised they're not even out yet. Um, again, it's day 57, it's approximately 11 p.m. at night, so we're practically day 58. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys a, a cut. I was going to wait for them to pit, but I'll go ahead and just give them a cut. Yeah, these things are these things are dimpled. Okay. Does it feel like there's a whole lot in here? I noticed in my last video I didn't do a good job of keeping the egg in the camera. So I'm gonna try my best this time and get it in there. Eggs all folding in. Okay, so we either have let me tilt this camera a little bit. This is definitely Mystic Pastel at the very least. Um, if I could only, if I could see the head, I could tell if it's super pastel but it's looking very light so it's looking really promising and that's kind of the best result I could get here I'm not sure if I would hold anything back in this clutch but you know if I do get a knockout looking super pastel mystic I would definitely consider keeping a male potentially a female so CM I don't remember who CM is but this is um egg number 12 to those of you that picked an egg so definitely pastel mystic for sure here look how dimpled these these are so these these guys are ready to come out okay. hope everybody had a great season I know a lot of you guys your seasons already ended mine came kind of late too SK, this is egg number 13. And we got, before I pull the trigger and say normal, not a mystic. I see normal. Yeah, I definitely see normal here. I've never hatched out a super pastel either, so I wouldn't mind hatching one out just for giggles. You know, this is one of those breedings where I kind of want to, you know, try to hit stuff I've never hit before, so. Well, I can, I can literally feel the snakes holding these eggs. That's how, that's how ready to go they are. This is num egg number 11. Initials on here are DJ. I don't, again, I don't really remember the names I wrote on here. And we got a pastel. Definitely not a super pastel. Just a regular pastel. Clean looking pastel though. All right, we got three more eggs for some magic. And that's a clean looking pastel. Yeah, the uh, blood vessels are very minimal on these eggs. Let's cut the smallest egg open. Wow, I can feel the snake to the brim in this egg. Hopefully, everything's okay in this egg. 
probably the reason why I wanted to cut too, because these things were, were shrinking. I wanted to make sure that these guys made it out all right. Just hoping we get a healthy baby. Wow, we got a little mystic pastel that's like packed to the brim. That even looks like a super pastel mystic. Could be. It's really light compared to the ones I hatched out last year. But that could just be it in the egg. So. Alright. Put this guy back. Wow, that's gonna be a tiny little bugger. Okay. Let's get the other small egg out. Got a lot of people that were interested in the Mystic Pastels last year, so you know, hopefully I'll be able to put some of these awesome guys in some collections. I'm a little biased when it comes to the Mystic Pastels I produce, but I haven't really seen many that could compare. Another Mystic Pastel. Again, we had another light one here. Wow. Did nick a little blood vessel. That thing's just staring at me. Yeah, these guys are gonna be out of these eggs pretty quick. These blood vessels are tiny. Okay, stick this guy back in here. See the other small egg. The small eggs got the gems. Last but not least, oh, and also that was egg number 10. The previous one was egg number 8. This is egg number 9. So he has picked egg number 9. This is the biggest egg in the clutch. It's got RR on the initials. This one feels pretty full still. Still from what I can see already. Ooh, that's a pretty pastel. That one looks just like mom. Yeah, that's a pastel. Looks just like mom from what I can see. Mom has a lot of peppering. A lot of that little peppering stuff. She has a lot of that. I don't think I hit on a super pastel. So let's see what the results, final results are. So I know for sure this is pastel. I know for sure this is at least mystic pastel here. Let me zoom in for you guys a little bit. Okay, so I know this for sure at least mystic pastel. This is for sure pastel. This is at the very least mystic pastel. The very least. Look at all that blushing already. This one at the very least is pastel. This one's looking real clean, but I just don't see the silver. Actually, there is some silver in there, so it could be a super pastel. This one's really bright, but just pastel for now. This one's looking like a normal. And then this one. I think this is the most promising looking one in terms of possibly a super pastel mystic. This one's super light. But yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, it's always appreciated all my subscribers, all the people I talk to on a regular basis. You know, huge shout out to all you guys. If you guys please can, give this video a like, show your support. Um, anything else you want to see in the future, please let me know. As always, Anthony from Granite Herbs. Peace, guys.